check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. G'day riders, today we're going to test three different controller handlebar holders for the DJI Mini 3. So on my last video, I did a um, video on active track, and a lot of people asked me, how did you hold the controller? Was it in your backpack? So the controller was actually on a lanyard holder, and it was actually hidden under my shirt. The problem was that the controller arms can actually rub against your shirt, and that will redirect the drone. So the best option is to have a handlebar holder, but there's not many online, and there's not many videos about which ones are the best. So I purchased three of the best ones, or the most seen ones on eBay. So let's test these three controller arms and we'll see how they go. And we'll put them um, under a bit of a rigorous test to uh, see which one comes out best. And hopefully my controller is still alive by the end of the video. Okay, first option is from eBay for $31.83 Australian with free postage. So the good thing I can see about this one so far is it's got a mount for the GoPro as well. Um, the bad thing I can see at the beginning is that it's got really small screws that um, go into the back and I can see if it's wobbling around too much it could actually probably snap the back of the controller. So let's still give it a run and see how we go. Okay, test number one went really well. Um, only downside, I can sort of see the back of the controller arm move open a little bit with the wiggling of this, which makes a bit of noise. Also, the, um, the holder here um, connection does um, let the controller slide back a little bit. It's a little bit too heavy for it. But uh, overall, it wasn't too bad, um, depending on how rocky the trails are that you're going on. So let's try attempt number two. Okay, here we are of number two. This was $17.70 Australian with free postage. Uh, first impressions is that the back screwed on a lot easier. Same problem, it's got two small screws that go to the, into the back of the controller. The plastic parts look a bit cheaper than number one. And the rubber section to wrap around the handlebars is very basic, so hopefully I don't uh, scratch my handlebars up. But let's still give it a test. Okay, here we go. Test number two. Drone's on active track. Okay, it's still on there. This top section moves around quite a bit. Okay, here we go with option number three. This one's $37.98 uh, Australian with postage. It uh, definitely looks like a better design. Uh, the bottom actually goes into the lanyard holders of the controller and you use the same screws so you can get it nice and tight um, around the bottom. It does look a little bit confusing, the design, uh, but uh, it's all metal alloy of some type and the plastic components are pretty solid so uh, let's give it a try put it on the bike okay test number three feeling pretty sturdy it's all tight Let's go.
that's our uh, test for today. And uh, number three is definitely the best option. Uh, I like how it um, goes into the uh, lanyard holders at the bottom of the controller. It was nice and sturdy. I'll give it a few more uh, goes on a couple more rides and see how it goes on longer distances. Uh, number one, I'll keep as well. That one works reasonably well. Uh, I just don't like how it has little screws that go into those um, bottom, to, bottom screws on the back of the controller. It just feels like it could crack at some stage. Um, number two, I'm going to throw that out. So it's um, pretty useless. So um, hopefully it's gave you some great ideas. Hopefully DJI actually one day designs their own accessories for mountain biking with the, uh, for a handlebar holder. It'd be great to see them come out with something really sturdy and really secure. So uh, let's just hope. So hopefully this gave you some great ideas and uh, safe biking and don't lose any drones. See you later. It sound right, boy.